Hmm, the new cowboy looks pretty weird next to the old Kirk. Well, I guess it's finally time to stop staring at them and get to working on the Kirkin. The first thing I gotta do is obviously start out with a drawing. So let's crack these knuckles, shake these shoulders, and get scribbling. Just gotta put a line here, put a line there. And it looks like I'm pretty much done. Okay, look how good that looks. Dang it. I figure when things don't exist, you have to make them exist. All right, well, let's just dive into it. Well, the first thing I gotta do is free this clay from this plastic jail cell with a little tap. And it looks like I learned how to walk. We can't have that. There's also quite a bit of clay here and I didn't eat breakfast, so. And Kirk is a sphere and this is a square, so there we go. And the way I accomplished this giant indent for his face was by cutting a rectangle out of a flat piece of clay and slapping it over top of a sphere and then just smoothing out the edges. So Kirk's mohawk is basically just three spheres, so we're just gonna shake these up real good. And wazam! We got Kirk's mohawk. Looking pretty good there, smoothed it out. And this is kind of what it's gonna look like when we put it on his head. Looks pretty neat, looks pretty neat. I wouldn't call myself a stylist, but I'm kind of a stylist. I'm just gonna put these down for a moment. So Kirk's mohawk has to get glued to his head, but uh, yeah, I'm out of super glue. So we're just gonna toss this old one. No, 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 why me? No, why? So now with the old container disposed of, we can pull out the brand new stuff. There's just nothing like a brand new bottle of super glue. Just flick the cap off. And now we can finally finish Stylin' Kirk's hair. Just gotta put a little dab of super glue here. Well, a little more than a dab. And we're gonna go ahead and try and give him a proper lineup. And it doesn't always happen on the first try, so I'm gonna quickly readjust it, because this stuff dries really quickly. Give him a little shake, make sure it's holding on, and yeah, there we go. So he's got his hair now, but he doesn't have his face. So I think if I just put him down and let him break dance a little bit. Oh yeah, there it is. Breakdancing really put a smile on his face. It was actually pretty difficult to scale his eyes, mouth, and teeth. I wanted his lips to match the size of Camboys, but they came out kind of big. I'm not really too bothered by it, but what I am bothered by is the lack of any squishy cheeks. And we can't have no squishy cheeks. Now, to accomplish squishy cheeks, we're going to have to take a proper sphere, roll it around a little bit, get it real nice and soft, and drop it so it breaks into two pieces. And now we have something that resembles squishy cheeks. Now, squishy cheek surgery is a very delicate process. First, we have to take our patient, make sure he's nice and comfortable, take our brand new pair of squishy cheeks, and slap him on there. Time for the big reveal. Looks like our surgery was a success. Ah, yes, very squishy. So I'm gonna set Kirk down for a minute. Those juicy cheeks are pretty heavy to carry around, so he's gonna need a really nice platform to stand on. I've actually got a little bit of leftover clay from my breakfast. You can ignore the giant bite mark taking out of it. And we're gonna attempt to flatten this out. But I'm too weak, so I'm just gonna smack it on the table. And boom, look at that, we got a nice little platform. We got a nice little glass bottle, some rocks scattered around, nothing too complicated. So to make sure we properly support Kirk's juicy cheeks, we're gonna use this metal wire that's supposed to be used for hanging pictures, but I like to use it as like armature wire. And we're just gonna snip a pretty long piece off here. Actually, we're gonna need two of those pretty long pieces. We're just gonna fold the tips up into tiny metal feet. And those tiny little feet are gonna do a little bit of tiny metal tap dancing before we insert them into our tiny clay base. As you can see, I actually cut out little slots for the little feet to go in so that when we put this down, it'll sit flush. To attach Kirk to these tiny little metal feet, we're gonna use this impact driver and we're gonna drill some holes violently into his body. And then we're gonna lightly wipe away any dust. So Kirk's gonna need some tiny legs to support his big body. And to accomplish that, we're gonna take this ball of clay and we're gonna roll it out into a cylinder. And then when it's properly rolled out, I'm gonna give it a little karate chop with my finger and cut it into two pieces. We're gonna get rid of that one piece because this one's long enough to make two legs and I'm gonna karate chop it one more time. And that was a little messy, so I'm gonna take that scrap off. And then we're just gonna compress them down to the right height and now we've got two tiny legs. We're gonna take these tiny legs and we're gonna put a hole through them and slot them into the metal wire. And now we're just gonna do a little test fit to make sure that it supports his juicy cheeks. And there we go, baby, look at that. Looks like it fits just right. 
He's not leaning backwards, he's not leaning forwards, everything looks like it turned out pretty good. It's time to move on to Kirk's arms. So very similar to the way that we made the legs, that's how I made these arms, and he's only got three fingers just like Camboy. Now attaching them is really simple. I'm just going to back up and smack them on there. Nice and easy. Now if you look down at his legs, you can see that I actually sculpted his socks to keep his feet warm. So we're finished working with clay, and it's time to give him a nice paint shower like we did Camboy in the previous video. I'm going to use the same primer from before, and the same method of putting him on top of a paper towel to protect my spinny table. And then we're going to start covering him in a beautiful matte gray finish. After a couple of 360s, we've got a pretty good even coat on him. The primer looks even better after it dries. It makes the surface look very inviting for colors. Speaking of colors, it's time to whip out our multiple colors of paint. And I'm going to need all these colors because I'm going to be doing a lot of mixing. You know I gotta grab these paint trays, and we're gonna use them for their intended purpose and squeeze these colors out. And Kirk has a lot of purples and pinks and light colors, so we're gonna use a lot of purple and white, and uh, yeah, I didn't mean to make a mess with that yellow. To apply these colors, we're probably gonna need a paintbrush. Before I start painting, I gotta crack my knuckles, crack my neck, and I'm gonna dive in. And uh, yeah, this process can get a little messy, but uh, that's okay, just have fun with it. I have a lot of fun with it. And now it's time to compare our finished sculpture to our reference drawing. Moment of truth! Oh yeah! That looks pretty freaking good! Oh wait, it's missing something. Ah yes, he's missing his solved Rubik's Cube because only freaking geniuses can solve those things. Now it's time to let the paparazzi get some pictures of this guy. I'm personally pretty satisfied with the way this sculpture came out. I really wanted to pay an homage to the original one by adding the glass bottle and a couple of rocks scattered throughout the sand. And you know we gotta get a glimpse of those juicy cheeks. And Kirk is supposed to be really good at problem solving, so I thought a solved Rubik's Cube would be pretty good symbolism for that. Now that his glamour shots are done, it's time to put the new Kirk up next to the new Camboy. He's so round and easy to pick up. Out with the old, and in with the new. Oh yeah, these guys came out pretty good. I think I like them a lot. Well, back to the classics. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to keep updated with more Camboy and Kirk projects, please hit that subscribe button. And I would really love to hear you guys' feedback on how these sculptures went. If you like them, if you didn't like them, like, dislike, comment. It helps my videos end up in people's recommendations so that maybe we can introduce Camboy and Kirk to some new people. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.